Did you know that there are good trees and bad trees? When we say good, we actually mean native. In other words, trees, plants, and animals that have evolved together in a certain geographic region. Native plants, animals, and insects evolve together and keep each other in balance. Faith will be planting five types of native trees here around our parking lot. They're the American holly, the eastern redwood, the flowering dogwood, the northern red oak, and the red maple. Now, just to set realistic expectations, ours will be much younger trees and not in bloom. Expect ours to be quite a bit shorter and much more slender. But these photos offer a glimpse of what we can look forward to in future years. According to the Audubon Society, these types of trees attract a wide variety of birds, such as cardinals, nuthatches, orioles, and more. Today we'd like to talk about removing harmful plant life. Earlier we used the word bad, but we really meant non-native plants. Those are the ones that have been brought in from other environments. When they don't have the natural predators they would have in their native habitat, they are referred to as invasive because they can take over the area and snuff out the native plants. Non-native plants and trees should not be planted and they should be replaced whenever possible. An example of this is English ivy. Have you noticed how the ivy covers much of the northwest section of Interstate 695? Because it is fast growing vine, it has been used as a ground cover. But when it spreads into forested areas, like those around 695, it damages and kills trees. Trees weakened by the ivy infestations are more likely to succumb to disease and the weight of the vines makes trees more likely to be damaged by wind, ice, and snow. English ivy should be kept in check or removed from your property. Alternatively, native vines like Virginia creeper, as shown here, and coral honeysuckle can be substituted for English ivy. They are great plants for wildlife and they're not invasive. Virginia creeper will climb trees, but it's not harmful to them. We quoted Maya Angelou in an earlier video saying, when you know better, do better. And this is guiding the green team. So along with helping Faith Lutheran be a better steward, the green team's mission is to share our newfound knowledge. If this is new information for you, we hope you will feel called to learn more and do more. Please ask questions and make this a turning point where you increase your attention and efforts to repairing and restoring God's creation wherever you live, making it hospitable for wildlife as much as possible. For more information about planting native trees, plants, and shrubs, you can look at the websites of these organizations. The Audubon Society, Blue Water Baltimore, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, Maryland Department of Natural Resources, Interfaith Partners for the Chesapeake, the Maryland Native Plant Society, the Natural Wildlife Federation, and the Nature Conservancy. Thank you to everyone who is considering coming this Saturday, October 2nd, 9 to noon, to help with the plantathon. We are still looking for a few more shovels, another tree soaker bag or two, but we would really like to share this experience with you. So please come by if you can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you.